In the last lecture, a confusion arose about how to um, how to make transformations, uh, more complex transformations, um, on the independent variable uh, that in our case is time. So consider uh, a function x of t, and we saw how to make transformations such as x of t minus t zero. And we also saw how to make transformations such as x of a times t for uh, an a greater than 0. And in fact, we also saw the transformation um, that was x of t minus t0. Or sorry, rather, x of minus t, which is time reversal. So uh, then we started putting these transformations together and we considered uh, a transformation uh, of the form x of a t minus t zero and I just want to um, clarify some confusions that may arise uh, or how to just make sure that you are not making errors when you are doing this uh, computation so for instance consider our signal x t um, and we want to transform it to another signal y of t which is uh, x of 3 t minus 1 uh, one of the examples of this we saw in the class in which we took xt as a triangular signal. Now, uh, what I suggested is that uh, one way to do it is to form an intermediate variable, uh, and I think this is uh, a good way to proceed about these problems in general. Um, and the intermediate variable, for instance, could be v of t is x of t minus 1. And then what we want to do is we want to write y of t um, as uh, a function, uh, so v of t uh, transformed. So we want to say it's, it's v of something. And the question is what should really show up in the brackets uh, here? And it's actually not hard to see. Uh, but uh, just to be sure that you are correct, what you can do is you can you can look from here that what we are looking for is a factor three, right? So you can define a new variable, uh, let's just say t prime, which is um, three times t. Okay. Um, then we know what v of t prime is uh, just from this formula here. V of t prime is x of t prime minus one. Right, um, and then replacing t prime by three t, it's x of three t minus one. And what is x of three t minus one? Hey, that's exactly what y of t that we wanted was. Uh, so this is equal to y of t. Right, and substituting t prime equals to three t here, this is v of three t. Right, so v of three t is y of t. So what shows up here is three t. Uh, a suggestion in the class was that we can do it another way, and indeed we can, uh, which is the way we actually did the calculations in the class. So we said v of t, uh, instead of defining the intermediate variable v of t as x of t minus 1, we'll define u of t, which is um, x of 3t. So we first do the multiplication uh, or scaling of the axis, and then we'll do the shifting. Okay. Um, so in this case, u of t is x of 3t, and then the question is y of t is equal to u of what? Right? What goes in here? And in this case, what we can do is we can define t prime as a new variable, uh, which, as we can check, will turn out to be t minus 1 over 3. Okay. So now if I take u of t prime, it is equal to... Uh, x of 3t, so it's x of um, 3 uh, times t prime, right, 3 times t prime, which is equal to x of 3 times t minus 1 over 3, which is again x of 3t minus 1, right, and so u of t prime, which is u of t minus 1 over 3, is equal to y of t, right? So you can first 
uh, you can do it either way you can first scale as we did here uh, and then time shift it or you can first time shift it as we did here and then scale it um, either will give you the same answer uh, and really both of them turn out to be equally convenient to do uh, the whole point of this exercise uh, is that even a complicated transformation which involves both scaling and time shift can be really broken down into simple ideas which we are more familiar with such as uh, scaling and shifting and after breaking it down uh, the solution turns out to be pretty easy so what I would do is I would encourage you to uh, compute um, these transformations for the example that we discussed in the class uh, the triangular function uh, if I remember correctly, the tri triangular function looked like this. It was a 1, 2, 3, and this was my x of t. 1, uh, so just make sure that you get, this, get the same answer uh, by using either uh, of these two techniques. Uh, and that it matches with the answer in the class. Thank you.